consists of the below items. High angle conveyor. Dryer. Carbonization reactor. Water cooling carbon discharging screws. Cooling tower. The dusting system. Flu condenser. Combustion chamber, condensers, and cyclone dust collector. The working processes are this. Turn on the fuel burner to preheat the reactor for two hours. The fuel could be diesel, natural gas, LPG, or biomass pellet. When the reactor temperature reaches to 150 degree, the material feeding could be started. The shredded material is loaded to dryer by high angle belt conveyor to reduce the water content. The high speed rotating scattering shaft with blades inside of the dryer can spread the material to the entire cylinder for increasing the contact area with the hot air and improving the drying efficiency. After drying, the material is fed into inner cylinder of carbonization reactor through the high angle belt conveyor, air locker, and auto feeder. Material is deeply dehydrated and preheated in the inner cylinder of reactor. Then move to outside cylinder of reactor through deflector. The material remains in the carbonization reactors for about 15 to 25 minutes to complete the carbonization process. The biochar is continuously discharged from outside cylinder of reactor. And go through the water cooling discharge screw to be sent and stored in packing bag or tank. The water jacket of discharger screw can cool down the biochar temperature for safety storage. During the carbonization process, the materials will release mixed gas, which is firstly remove the dust by cyclone dust collector and then pass through the condensers to separate the tar and wood vinegar. There are some non-condensable Singas. Most of Singas is recycled in burning room to heat the reactor. And the initial heating fuel can be stopped at this time. The extra Singas is directly burned in outside burning room to reduce the pressure of reactor. The produced hot smoke will go through the flue condensers to reduce the temperature, then go to the dusting scrubber for further cleaning. The flue gas from the heating room can be used as hot source for the dryer, so dryer needs no additional fuel. After drying, the flue gas mixed with water vapor is firstly removed dust by the cyclone dust collector. Then clean in the spray tower by water washing, ceramic rings adsorption and water spray. It will be further filtered by UV light and oxygen, and activated carbon adsorption and discharged into the atmosphere. Throughout the production process, the cooling pool provides the cool water for biochar discharger screw, condensers, and the spray tower. And the cooling tower used for cooling down the hot water from these items, and flow back into the pool, the water is recycling during the whole process.